Welcome to our channel where we talk about the latest news and trends in finance and investments. In this video, we'll talk about Tesla's possible stock buyback program, which is a subject that has been talked about a lot by investors and analysts in recent months. Could this move by Tesla be a game changer for the company's financial health and future performance? Stay tuned to find out why many investors and analysts are waiting to see if the company will actually go through with this idea before we go into more detail. Don't forget to hit the like button and join our channel. Stock prices in the main EV company have been going up and down a lot lately, and buying back shares now could be very good for the business, even though it just released what many people think is bad Q4 data. Investors have been talking more and more about Tesla's stock buyback program lately, especially after the company teased the idea on its third quarter earnings call. Some investors and experts put a lot of pressure on Tesla executives and CEO Elon Musk to do something about the company's stock price changes. Musk said that the company can still do a buyback worth $5 to $10 billion, even if 2023 is a bad year. The buyback idea has been talked over a lot at the board level. Most of the board thinks that it makes sense to do a buyback, but we want to make sure we follow the right steps to do it right. Musk, CEO of Tesla, also said that it's likely that they'll do a big buyback. But keep in mind that this is still subject to board review and approval. In the past few months, a lot of Tesla experts have been talking about the possible benefits of a stock buyback for the company. Elon Musk has said that while market teams focus on the short term, it's very important to focus on the long term. Imagine a busy marketplace full of buyers and sellers. A company is like a vendor in this marketplace offering its shares for sale. However, Sometimes the company may decide to buy back some of its shares, essentially becoming a buyer in the marketplace. This can have several benefits, such as supporting the stock price by reducing the number of outstanding shares. This can increase earnings per share and make the remaining shares more valuable, which can help support the stock price and boost investors' confidence. There's also more control when a company buys back its shares, effectively reducing the number of shareholders and can sell validating ownership. This can give the company more control over its destiny because it will have to listen to fewer voices when making big choices. The pros of a buyback are similar to the pros of being a smart shopper in a busy market. You can support the value of what you're doing, increase your ownership, lower your costs, and even save on taxes. It's easy to see why so many companies choose to buy back their shares. So how can we make the most of a buyback? For investors, knowing the date of a stock buyback can be helpful in a number of ways. The first is that it can help you time the market. The way a company sees the current state of the market can be shown by buybacks when a business announces A, buyback, it may mean that they think their stock is undervalued and are optimistic about the road ahead. If, on the other hand, a company stops or cuts back on buybacks, it could mean that they think the stock is overvalued and that the market may be in a bubble. This is exactly what happened when Elon Musk started selling his own Tesla shares in the middle of 2022, which caused Tesla stock to drop. The second reason is that it has an effect on the stock price. Share buybacks can have a positive or negative effect on a company's stock price. If a company buys back a lot of its shares, it can lower the number of shares on the market and raise earnings per share, which can cause the stock price to go up. This would be good because Tesla's earnings per share did well in Q4. The electric vehicle manufacturer beat expectations in both earnings and sales when it reported earnings after the market closed. When, when Tesla said it could make 2 million cars this year, its stock price went up 5%. After hours trading on the day of the news saw adjusted earnings of $1.19 per share, which was higher than the $1.13 per share that had been expected, according to Refinitiv. Also compared to the same quarter last year, revenue for the quarter was $24.32 billion, more than what was predicted, $24.16 billion. Tesla made $17.72 billion in sales and adjusted profit of $2.52 per share, or $0.85 per share, or $0.85 per share after the August 2022 stock split. In the fourth quarter, the company made $21.3 billion in automotive sales, which is a 33-year increase of $467 million due to government credits. In the first week of April 2023, the company's shares fell 6% on Monday after the quarterly deliveries report came out. Some investors are afraid that more price drops are on the way. To get people to buy, prices will have to go down, which could cut into profits over the weekend. Tesla said that it delivered a record-breaking 422875 electric cars in the first quarter this year out of a total production of 440808 cars. This is a 4% increase in deliveries from the previous quarter, but some investors are still worried about Tesla's repeated price cuts in the U.S. Some price cuts in the U.S. were made so that Tesla and its customers could take advantage of tax credits offered by the Inflation Reduction Act. However, there is ongoing concern that as more competitors enter the market, Tesla will have to keep lowering prices to keep attracting buyers. These worries have led some investors to call for Tesla to announce a $15 billion stock buyback. 
As we talked about in the previous video, billionaire Leo Koguan, who claims to be the third largest individual shareholder of Tesla, tweeted to Martin Vieja, Tesla's senior director of investor relations, saying that the company should use its free cash flow to pay for the buyback and that it shouldn't affect its $18 billion cash reserves. Kogan also said that Tesla's free cash flow was $2.2 billion in the first quarter of this year, and that he expected it to rise to $8 billion this year and $17 billion next year, once capital costs are taken into account. Hebrew thinks that Tesla can buy back its undervalued stock and put the money into making its Optimus robot fully self-driving and building new plants. Because of recent changes in Tesla's price, buyers believe now is the best time for the company to buy back its own shares. It's helpful to know when and how a stock buyback will affect Tesla stock because it gives information about the company's finances and possible future performance, which can help you decide whether to invest or not. Dave Lee on YouTube thinks that Tesla could buy back its own shares because the company could make 10 million cars a year and make $15,000 a car. Lee talked about how the company would be able to compete with big automakers, and there's good reason to believe that Tesla is now ready to give them a run for their money. This is in contrast to big automakers like General Motors and Ford Motors, which had to shut down many factories because of a lack of chips. Tesla set new sales records every quarter, selling almost twice as many cars as the previous year, even though the industry-wide crisis hurt other companies. The fact that Tesla can get important parts has bigger effects. Besides the number of cars it sells each year, Tesla and other new electric vehicle companies could pose a more immediate and serious threat to the dominance of industry giants like Volkswagen and General Motors. If Tesla makes an annual operating profit of $150 billion and investors multiply that by 30 times, the company will be worth $5.4 trillion, which is what most industry executives and policymakers expect. I agree with Dave Lee that buying Tesla stock is a good idea for most people. A petition has been started to ask Tesla to buy back some of its shares. The company's third largest investor, Leo Colgan, has been pushing for a return of shares for a number of months. By late November, the petition had gained about 5,300 signatures and was calling for a return by the end of 2022. This was because 2021 was a tough year for Tesla with Elon Musk buying Twitter and the company having to deal with 19 recalls. One of the 5,000 people who signed the petition said that he had to short Tesla stock to keep his capital safe. He thinks that the board should do something like a buyback before he goes along again. Dave Ives, a Bush expert, says that activist investors may put more pressure on Elon Musk and Tesla in 2023. Even though Tesla had a lot of growth in 2022, its stock price dropped by 50%, making it a popular target for activists. This is big news for Tesla bulls who believe in the long-term prospects of this great company. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and keep watching our other videos.